is MJ and today I'm just here uh, walking at the beach. I walk uh, 10 miles a day to uh, refresh and uh, to, to recollect and you know, to talk to God and to nature through water. Day. Usually I just walk around the shoreline, our neighborhood, but uh, now I decided to come here near the beach and, you know, talk to God. So today I'm, I just want to, you know, share with you uh, to know your worth. Uh, what does it mean? Like, uh, to avoid people, the toxic people in your life, that you always treat you poorly, belittle you, who talk uh, behind your back, who don't uh, recognize your, you know, your effort, your worth as a human being. When I said uh, remove toxic people in your life, I'm talking about family members like your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, your uh, nephews, nieces, uh, your daughter, your son, your husband, your wife, and uh, friends, close friends, boss, co-workers, because if it's not doing good in your health, your mental health. You know, it will lead to depression and some people there, you know, doing things that, you know, won't, you know, protect them from, you know, like uh, their life. Because people, if you always wanna, like these people, you cannot be happy. Because people, they will, say something to you either you do good or bad to them if you're not beneficial to them you know they're just gonna do something or say something that you know you will feel bad to yourself me for almost uh, four months I've been avoiding the toxic people in my life because uh, I got depressed and uh, you know because of this quarantine it's almost four months you know unemployment, got sick for two months, and then a lot of, you know, uh, bad mounting, uh, like uh, they treat you poorly, they don't treat you well, you know, they uh, just see themselves. It's not about the education, it's not about what you attain in your life, it's not about what you have, it's not about if you have a big house or kind of profession do you have is for me is how you treat people you know if they're always uh, belittle you treat you poorly they say uh, bad behind your back you know what I really don't like is they will invite you to their houses to their families and then they just like you know you're gonna eat they're gonna bring some food uh, you know you thought they're you know like good people but at the end they're just saying bad stuff you know like uh, bad things to you behind your back they always talk about you they don't even know what they're done in their lives in their past life they only see what's now you know and uh I am really disappointed, you know, if uh, people will always treat you like that, you know. My husband is always telling me, like, the word allow, if you allow them to, you know, treat you like that, you're going to be like that forever. And he is right. So, what I learned in my life right now is I don't want to be treated like that, you know. It's, uh, because now it's, uh, you know, what's happening to our world right now, you know, we don't even know what's going to happen next. So, be kind because you 
you don't even know what's going on in the other people's lives you know uh, like now the unemployment rate is so high and uh, you know we can't recover the economy a lot of businesses you know are closed and they're opening some of them but they cannot recover you know and uh, it's very sad you know like uh, people will do that to you you know to feel powerful you know i don't know sometimes the word envy you know it's uh, gonna create more like uh, bad things or you know I don't know it's just like my experiences you know you're not doing anything to them but you thought they they love you they care for you but at the end is like I said if you are not beneficial to them anymore they treat you like nothing they don't care about you they don't love you because if people love you they don't treat you like that because uh, for me if you're really kind you know, you don't need to show up or, you know, like you help people and uh, taking pictures or saying things that you're helping people. You just need to be silent and let God, you know, praise you and reward you. But some people, you know, they give stuff, they show their families that they love you, they care for you, and at the end, they just talking about you you know you know sometimes it's in the family you know like uh, you thought they love you they care for you but at the back they're talking about you so be careful be careful who you, who you bend out you know because you cannot trust you know people right now I don't know you know there's no such thing as free in this world so if you are not beneficial you are nothing to them and for me it's okay not to have a lot of money as long as you treat people right it's not about the possession the profession what degree you have right now what you you gain or you know like whatever you achieve in your life it's not gonna define you you know what god sees your heart god knows you he created you What's more important to God is your heart, how you treat people. It's not, you know, because by doing like belittle people, you know, like to to feel powerful, you know, it's not right. So for me, know your worth. You are valuable in our, uh, you know, Almighty God. God loves us unconditionally, not like people you know they love you conditionally and uh, it's, it's it's so sad so right now i'm here because uh, i am talking to god full nature in a while you do this to yourself in the meantime you know you don't need to spend money Just to walk talk to god you know like uh, you can hear his voices through nature just him you know what and uh, like i told you guys it's uh, been a rough month for me but uh i'm a prayerful person and God never leave me nor forsake me. So this is the first time in my life that I remove people that I love most because they, they don't see my work. They don't see, you know, like what you did to them. As I said, because you're not beneficial anymore. So you're nothing. So I am teaching my children to, you know, know their worth and to not treat treat people like this you know whatever they attain in their life i never
never belittle my children. I never discourage them. I never abandon them or disown them. I never said bad words to them. Because I believe if you if you do that, if you said you know bad things to people or bad words to people, it will scar them and it won't. I don't know. If you're not a real Christian or your your faith is not deep, it's it's hard to you know forgive or even to let go you know of the things that they've said to you or you know it hurts again i said it it scars you so but i really ask god's forgiveness uh healing you know restoration you know with those kinds of people and to really move on with uh, your life you know without them because it's not uh, good in your health, in your mental health. Because right now we need uh, to be kind to each other, you know, to love each other, to unite, you know, and uh, only God knows what is going to happen next. So just be, be nice, be kind. Because we don't really know what is going to happen next. And uh, I've been praying to God if the world is like this and uh, the social justice, the social media, you know, what's going on, the economy, it's really bad. So I've been praying to God that uh, to teach us, to teach the people to, you know, to learn something from this almost four months of you know coronavirus or quarantine or lockdown what they call it you know we learn something to be kind to love each other to, to not humiliate people or to belittle people to not treat people poorly and you know what guys i don't like the gatherings like family gatherings reunions because there are a lot of hypocrite people fake people that they say they love you, they care for you, but at the end, because of envy, they're talking bad about you. So right now, because right now what's going on is by doing the, you know, in Texas and other places, like the, the rate of coronavirus again, the, the COVID-19, you know, is high because of this gathering. So be careful out there and you can still see them through FaceTime, through Viber, you know, uh, Messenger, you know, you can call them, you can communicate with them. Avoid negative people or toxic people in your life. Love yourself before you can love other people. Treat yourself right. Have some time for your life, me time to connect with God to talk to God you know because as I was saying like God is the only loves you unconditionally not people so guys know your worth everyone know your worth because you are valuable to God not to people who always put in your mind that God's opinion matters not the people's opinion so thank you guys for watching if you learned something you know from this episode uh, don't forget to like share subscribe thumbs up and leave your comment below thank you god bless you god loves you i love you guys good night stay safe bye bye